Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions. This is the new trading card game by Playfusion. These are the guys that bought you the, the Lightseekers card game, which is gone on strength and strength. It's quite popular, especially here in the UK as well. Um, this is the Destruction campaign deck. The, the campaign decks are essentially, they are just a playable deck straight away. Um, obviously, they've done th four of them. Each one is themed. You've got Destruction, which is this, which is mainly Orcs. You've got um, Death, which is obviously like your Vampires, your Undead, stuff like that. Chaos, which I do believe it's mainly Corn. And then Order, which is mainly Stormcast Eternals. Obviously, they're the new the new poster boys, essentially, for Age of Sigmar. So, makes sense that they've gone for that. Right, and we'll take a look on the back. So, as you can see, it contains a 38 card, I say army, but obviously it's a deck, ready to fight. So, that contains 30 cards, which are will be your abilities, your spells, your units that you're going to put out in your action field. Four champions, which you, unlike most card games, you do get to start with them out. And also four blessings, which will be underneath each champion um you can't pick which champion goes with which blessing and you don't get the blessings until they've uh, achieved certain requirements but uh, we can quickly take you through that however they've they've already done great videos showing you that. um one booster pack which is actually always nice it lets you uh change a few things up inside your deck if you so wish it looks like a, a destruction exclusive card, which is it's quite nice. Everyone likes exclusive cards. Come with the good idea that each pack does come with a campaign map, health counters, and detailed rule sheets. So basically, this is a, a great starter deck. Um, in store, we're gonna be using the destruction deck, and we'll if people see this before um, we open up the second one to start doing demos, we'll let people choose which other one we're gonna open. Um, because obviously we want to try and let people try before they buy, essentially. Um, uh, obviously that's at Boards and Swords Hobbies in Derby, the UK. Um, yeah, so let's get it open. And by the power of editing, we are now open. Nobody needs to watch me struggle open that. So we'll go through. So to start with, you've got the, the quick rules. Um, they have like a really good idea. They've already put on their website that you can get the full rules uh, just nearly fits in so this goes through everything i do believe the other side oh no it's not uh so yeah this is more just for the rules so that's the quick rules but like i said online they have for free the downloadable pdfs so you can just get all the the rules anyway uh, straight away next up so that uh, this is the play map which is just a really nice little thing to include, I think. Because um, I'm sure as people start to play the game, they'll end up getting proper mats um, and the mouse map material. But these are really nice because it has a quick, like a quick reference guide basically down each side of the map and the health around the outside. Um, I must note that 35 is the maximum health you can get. So unlike some games where you can get to silly amounts of health, the there is a, a max on this. As you can see, so this is where your champions would go here. Action cards to the front. I do believe you can only have four units out. Um, and then, yeah, you've got your blessings at the bottom there. So, But the blessings don't appear until the champion has done his things, done his quests, and then the you get the blessing that's underneath them. But it is really nice idea. They've gone through all the different icons and stuff, so... It, just helps that little bit. So next up, well, this is the campaign deck, which, like I said, is essentially is just your your playable deck for the destruction. And so I believe every unit, every deck will have the same cards. So the world's smallest punch board, which is your two tokens. Uh, oh, different art on the back there. Closer look. Obviously, it's themed green for the orcs in the destruction. 
and I do believe if you look it's really lightly but in the background there is a unique art on each playmat so obviously for the destruction it's themed green and there is a an orcish battle going on so this is one of your champions as you can see with the the red outline that means it's a warrior because these the two different types of um champions basically at the minute there's wizards and warriors you can get a wizard warrior i think it's only death that has them but um yeah so this red number here that because you start on 30 health at the start of the game the and then you adjust your starting health with these red symbols here so some of them give you positive some give you negative so this is positive one to your health the green number is the cost of the champion so essentially, you can spend 20 champions, 20 points, sorry, on your four champions. No more, but you can go less, I do believe. So that's another Auric boss, so you'd have them two out. And as you can see, they were both red. However, this one is blue, so the blue means it's wizard. So he's minus one to your health, but he's a staggering seven points. So he's a little bit harder, but he does have an ability, whereas the other two didn't. They were just a, basically a standard thing. So this is while a highlighted auric unit has support two, increase this champion's damage done with spells by three. So it's a good idea. And as you can see, on each corner is a different symbol. So for this bone splitter shaman, for him to do his first part of his quest, he needs to heal somebody. So once he's healed someone you will then turn the card on the, the playmat. Then he needs to cast the spell, then he needs to do an ability, then cast another spell, and then once he goes back round, obviously say he's there, he's gone all the way around, done all four, you would then take the blessing card that's face down underneath him, and then that then activates, and the blessing cards pretty much can be game winning. But look at this bad boy. So a mega boss on more crusher than the the artworks just just outstanding. That is lovely. Eight points, he's a big one. So when this champion removes one or more highlighted units, gain one additional action this turn. Okay, that's that's pretty powerful because um you get two two actions a turn. Um with that that can be used just to draw both, or you can play two cards. Um However, his highlighted unit, if he hits any enemy unit, because he's got, as you can see, the four red squares, that means any enemy unit facing him removes one or more of them. He gains an additional action, which could be game winning towards the end. So next up, we've got some blessings. This is renewed war lust. So this is a, an instant blessing. So as soon as this goes off, you would just gain four health and draw two cards. And like I said, so at the start of the game, you would shuffle these and place all four down, face down in front of you, and then the champions go on top. So you wouldn't know which champion to try and finish their quest first. So you've got Might of Gork. So as you can see, this says when it turns, damage to your opponent. So at the start of every turn, this is where a passive thing would then turn. So to start with, it would turn and do three damage, turn and do three damage, turn and do three damage, and then it would disappear. The blessing would be done. So smash and bash. So this is, again, this is an instant. So it's five damage to your opponent, rotate highlighted units to their final corner. So, uh, that's, hmm. so this would turn your own people to uh to their final thing could be good could be bad because it could mean because some units do suffer like do yourself damage so if you could potentially because i'm not sure if you have to do the blessings because that basically means if you're going to turn to the last corner that means they've only got one the start of your next turn they'll turn do whatever they need to do and then disappear so this last blessing is draw three cards face up any units drawn may be deployed onto any highlighted champions. So again, this is it's any of our champions. So 
that's not too bad. So brute smashers, stack in. I do believe destruction are one of the only ones where you can keep putting units on top of another unit. So like you could go there, and then if you get another unit, I eat this one with stack in. I do believe it essentially goes on top and they turn together. So it's quite a good little thing for the for the destruction. So. Uruk shield bashers, so it does one damage, then zero and zero, but what's his special, so turn damage to your opponent, reduce damage received from the highlighted enemies by increase this unit's damage reduction by one per support. So I'll have, we'll have to see what support is, but basically the more you put on these, even when, because obviously it says one, or zero, sorry, so you reduce incoming damage by zero, but it's plus one for every support, so really we'll have to see um, what the support is. So we've already seen that, so you've got two shield smashers, then we've got Oruk scrappers, so damage to your opponent, increase this by one per support. So again, it, it definitely looks like um, the or, the Oruks, or Orcs, however you want to say it, they're, uh, they're all about supporting each other. Um, Maybe more so than what I've seen from some of the, um, the death. So, yeah, you grot slashes, they just do one, one, and then I do believe X, yeah, X is just, you just remove them. So, be two damage and remove, but again, it's all about the, it says add one per support. So, again, so this is a beast, so damage your opponent, gain it, then for additional actions. Oh, so you do gain, so it looks like you would damage your opponent for one and then gain one additional action with that one. I do believe more Pouncing Wolf Riders. So we've got a Crowded Wolf Chariot. So again, this is a stack in. Can only be deployed onto a stack of two and then do rend damage to your opponent. So the first two turns it's going to do nothing, but then this last one is a whopping Eight damage. That is just filth. So gore chopper brute. So this one doesn't stack. Like a lot of them were stacking, but not this one. So this is what a lot of more of the normal cards were like. So it's just you just go at them and just deal direct damage rather than trying to stack and get supports and stuff. Oh, not the camera, sorry guys. So this is a, a stomping Maw Crusher. So we'll quickly just go through the cards now. Cause... So, again, so these are these are the ability cards as I'm about. So some of your things do need to cast abilities, so they just happen straight away. There wasn't too many of them. And then we've got um, Invigorate Enchant, which is a spell. As you can see, the spells are outlined in blue. Um, this just gains health. Um, so as you cast it out, so you gain one, gain one, gain two, gain three, and then it will disappear. So, and I know the shame and on his first one, basically he would need to cast something like that to then heal. So that's more of them. The Call of War. Lovely artwork on that one. A wow ceremony. Reckless Inspiration. Tactical Formation. Ah, so that's something I've not gone through. So the grey cards, as you can see here, so this is Tactical Formation, is a neutral card. So any faction can use them. As you can tell by the artwork, it's, all the other artwork was Auric and Destruction based. Whereas this is, as you can see, it's just, it's the Stormcast Eternals. So... That's why it's a, a neutral card. Again, so that looks like a neutral card, but it, actually, no, I don't think it is. No, that is destruction, sorry. Deadly chart. So we've got Rallying Cry. Deploy two units from your hand onto highlighted champions. They can be wizards. So that's 
that's quite good. So that essentially gives you an extra action because instead of doing one action to deploy each unit, you'd just play this ability um, and then it would deploy two, sorry, out of focus there. So that would just deploy, deploy two units onto highland, highlighted champions and they can be wizards. So that's quite, quite good. Mystic Shield, so reduce damage received from highlighted units and by allies. So that's good. So even if you do have to hurt yourself, it just reduces all damage, that one does. Opportunity Strike, this is a, a neutral card. So damage, two damage to your opponent. Increase this by three if there are no highlighted units in play. That's quite good. Because again, you... In this, you don't kill the champions or the um, enemy units that are out. It is literally just the health on the outside goes down. So the units will disappear as they've done their rotating and then they leave. But um, other than that, it's not like Magic or other games where you are dealing damage to the units that are out or they can be blocking. It's They only block if they say they block. So Brutal Smash, so two damage to your opponent, increased by four. If their hand size is eight or more, that is very powerful by the sounds of it. That's something to make sure to keep your hand cut size down, really. And we've got a, an arcane bolt. This is another neutral. So you just do zero damage, zero damage, but then a massive seven. That's just filthy. Actually, no, I don't think it is zero damage, sorry. Looking at the play sheet here, the cross is removed. So remove a spell or unit from any player. Okay, that's at least we know now. So it removes two spells or units and then a massive smash. So then we get a, an advertisement card, basically. But you, I forgot to say, if you look on the back, they are there is like texture to them that is outrageously good detail for a for a card game I do believe yeah they're all like it so that's a really nice touch there it gives them a real good sense of quality and we've got a campaign deck reference so it goes through this is the destruction right so obviously as you can see that that destruction symbol there is a unit but it's an auric unit which some of the things will refer to and it goes down and tells you all the different stuff different keywords Probably could have made that one double sided, I think, but it is what it is. And now let's open the booster pack. So I do believe every booster pack is 13 cards, um, and it contains, I think you get, you're guaranteed a foil and um, a rare in each one, I do believe. So, start with another Arcane Bolt, got plenty of them in there, Hellfire Blast. That looks quite good. Again, so you remove units, spells, and then a 10 damage. Destructive Liberator. So that's for Stormcast. So that'll be Order, basically. Cursed Strike. Triumphant Smash. The artwork on these is just this beautiful stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's all new and unique. I'll have to have a look through some of the Age of Sigmar battle tomes and stuff, but some really nice looking artwork. And I'm a massive fan of orcs and oryx myself, so hence why we've um, gone through this deck to start with. And basically, this is going to be one of the store demo decks, like I man mentioned. So, this is a Destruction, no chaos card. Sorry. And then we've got a uh, Crypt Infernal Courtier. So that's a, a champion. Again, the the backs of these cards they just feel fantastic. Oh, a lovely Skull Throne. So this is a blessing. I think yeah, you get two blessings and or champions per thing. And then this is our foil, as you can see, this is the, well this is the first foil I've seen from these sets and that is very nice indeed. Um, so this is a, I do believe it's a 
dish, a death card only. So it's uh, quite upsetting. It would have been nice to get a destruction one, but as is the way with trading card games. However, I think everyone's probably going to be the same as me. We're all going to do a deck of everything, I think. But yeah, so that is the destruction deck unboxed and gone through. To the best of my knowledge, obviously, I've still not played the game, just been from what I've tried to learn. Um, so if we, you can put in the comments below if you want to see any of the other ones opened and we can uh, go through them. Right. Cheers, guys.